everybody. This is Sanji and welcome back to Kids Inspiration by Sanvi. Today I'm here and today as you can see from the title we're going to be talking about how you're able to maintain or build a strong and very healthy relationship. I know that everybody needs to have a strong and a really great relationship and everybody needs to work on that. We all need to have that obviously for our future lovers, for our parents, family, friends, and all these special and amazing people. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. I have exactly five key takeaways and although they're very small, they're very simple words, but these simple words can have so much knowledge behind them which makes them really the best. Number one is communication. You have to learn how to communicate with other people because you cannot just try and not try to understand them. If there's anybody, I know that in my family, my, me and my dad, we are only the, me, my dad, and my brother, we are actually the only ones who, the only three, who speak English, understand it clearly and all these things, which is that my mom, even though she does understand what I say in English and all these things, sometimes it can be pretty hard on her. Even yesterday, she was calling her workplace and she was having a pretty difficult time talking to the employee, but I was able to help her and she was also able to help herself and we were able to do it. But I know that yesterday I was telling her about this story where the other Sanvi, her name is Sanvi Tapa, but she is my friend and I'm her Didi. But basically we went to our class ELA 6 period at the same time. And then basically our ELA teacher, her name is Miss Jacob, but technically Miss George since she recently got married. But basically Miss Jacob, she accidentally marked Sanvi absent, but that was before we knew because yesterday my Yesterday, Sanvi, she emailed her teacher, and her teacher said that, oh, well, our teacher, Ms. Jacob, said that, oh, I must have misclicked. I'm so sorry. I don't know. I don't even know how it's gone into the system. Let me fix it. And that's exactly what she did. And although my mom, I told her about this, but she wasn't able to understand. And I didn't know that because I kept explaining it to her over and over and over and over again. But we didn't have the correct communication. And my dad, my mom obviously told my dad because, you know, my dad understands Nepali as well, Taru, Maitali, Hindi, a little bit of Spanish, all these things. So I can't even count how many languages he knows. But he told, but she told my dad and then my dad talked to me about it and I thought that I was in trouble and that my mom and, or my parents were getting mad at me all over again. So I was like, oh my gosh, why does she keep doing this? She always makes such a big deal about everything. But I didn't have the right communication with my mom because I was speaking in a frustrated tone while explaining to her. And I was speaking very fast. I know the ne Nepalese people, this, is, this isn't trying to be mean or anything or offensive, but I know that even when I was trying to learn English, I had to learn from slow speakers and all these people. But I wasn't a slow speaker. I was getting mad at my mom and I was speaking in a really fast tone, which wasn't really helpful and wasn't the correct communication. But always make sure that you have communication because I know that instead I could have asked her, I could have been like, Mommy, are you sure you understand? And then if you would have said no, which you probably would have, then I can say, okay, then let me call Daddy and let me help him explain it to you. Or maybe I can make it a lot more simpler, maybe speak a lot more slower and all these things. But this is how you should always have the communication and try and know how to communicate properly. Next, number two is trust. Building trust is very important because whenever you build trust with people, you are able to keep secrets with them. You're able to talk to them. You're able to talk about your problems with them. You're able to be with them. And they're able to be with you in your ups and downs. You always have to build trust because if you do not build trust, then obviously you aren't really going to be the best. And you will not probably be making a lot of friends or be friends with people. But always try and have trust with other people. Try and basically just understand them. Try and get to know them more. And just make sure that whenever you're building trust that you know that you're with the right people. And you'll know you're with the wrong people whenever you feel like, even though if you feel like good with them half the time, like really good friends with them. And even though if you feel like a little bit more annoyed or like, not a little bit, but like just like a little bit, but not too much or too little. 
But even if you just feel a little bit more annoyed, try and just understand what is happening because if you do have trust, then you have to know the person a lot more. And I don't know, my friends, this year they've trusted me with a lot of things and I trust them too. Because I know that I trust my friends with anything and I know that they trust me with some of the things. Like for example, one of my friends, she actually gave me, she actually gave me her phone password so and I don't really know, but she was able to trust me with that. And I even tell her if there's any problems that are happening, like with anything that's happening bad. And obviously I talk to them and I am able to trust them. Even with my parents, I don't really think I should be saying this, but really, I don't really talk to my mom or my brother as much about like everything that's happening. But I usually talk more to my dad because I know that I have always been a daddy's girl. But always try and build trust with people. Try and understand them. And you should try and understand them too. And just build a, a really great trusting bond. The next number three, it says respect. Respect the other people. And especially respect their boundaries. If they say no, don't do it. No is a very simple word to understand. No is like disagreeing or not agreeing with the person. Not following along with the person. So don't try and force it onto them. You should be able to respect them. And obviously you have to respect their opinions too because if you are with your friends or your family, like for example, my dad, he, well, I don't really have a lot of opinions with my parents, but I know that with my friends, they have a lot of opinions. Like one of them is like, oh, well, public speaking kind of sucks. And then my opinion is that, Oh, well, I love public speaking, and I love doing it. That is our opinions. And instead of my friends trying to be like, Oh, no, why do you like public speaking? That's so bad. You know what my friends do? My friends, they actually respect that, and they're like, Oh, yes, Sami does public speaking. That is really great. Even though if I don't like public speaking, I respect her for doing that. So always try and respect your people. No matter what, always, always, always respect them and just respect their opinions, respect whatever they're doing. But obviously, if they're doing anything bad or not really the best, then you can always try and correct them. But you cannot force anything onto them. So always try and respect them. Next, number four. It says quality time. Quality time can make a really big difference. Because of that, even though if I've been in my middle school ever since, like, what? Ever since August 15, I know that recently I've been starting to make new friends. And even at the beginning of the year, I would talk to my new friends for a little bit. But then they had other friend groups and all these things way before this year. So obviously, I didn't really talk to them as much. But this one girl, her name is Adrina, and she's really pretty. And she's also really nice as well. I don't even know how I wasn't even her friend. But... Nowadays, I've been able to spend quality time with her because it turns out that we're in the same PE and we also like see each other at lunch sometimes and we have the same coach. And I always spend quality time with her no matter what. Like for example, today we're running the mile and we both we were running alongside each other and even though if you are very busy in the moment like how I was running the mile, I was still with her and still spending quality time. Spending quality time is able to allow you to basically trust them more, being able to open up to them more, and just feeling comfortable around them overall, not feeling anything bad or negative. But spending quality time, you can go out for a cafe, or if you have any classes with them, try and sit next to them, because I know that how I was able to spend a lot of quality time and trust and make a loving relationship with my friends is that I also made another friend with this Isha, with this girl, and her name was Isha, and I became friends with her around, like, November or September, and I was able to be friends with her. I spent more quality time, and even though if you have one class with each other, it's called regular time, and it's, like, only for 30 minutes. So, obviously, I only see her for that time. But I always spend quality time with her, and I literally sit next to her. But always try and spend quality time with any of your friends, families, so then you're able to become a lot more comfortable and bond with them. The next number five, the last one, it says compromise. Compromising is very important because whenever you compromise, then you are basically able to fix situations. You're able to get the solution to your problem. I know that we had to compromise one day because 
we were doing this project. I remember, like, in, ele not elementary, middle school, like, in the beginning of the year, we had this little project. And it was basically where we had to make our own map. And I was actually working with a few of my other friends because we it wasn't a partner work or anything, but we were just able to, like, compromise. But then we had to do another map, which was, like, doing it with the whole team. So that was something we had to compromise because a lot of my friends, they have a lot of random ideas. Because one of my friends wanted it to be, well, I wanted it to be the actual Earth theme. But then my other friends wanted it to be, like, fully green, like, Dark, dark, dark green can represent the water and light green can represent the land. Some of my friends were thinking the opposite. So, like, the water was green and the green was blue. Honestly, I don't really remember as much, but I was able to compromise with them. Because whenever you compromise with other people, you're able to also build your critical thinking skills as well. Because whenever you compromise, you have to use your brains and you're able to get out of that situation or problem very quickly and compromise. Compromising is basically where you're able to fix a problem or anything that is happening. But always try and comp compromise with other people. And obviously, if you have to keep going out to parties and all these things, you can always try and compromise with your lover, with your people that you're always around, family, friends, and anything. You can compromise. And, and if they say, that, oh, but why are you going there? There's no reason to go there. Then you're always able to compromise with them and you're able to be like, well, what if I get home early, even though if the party ends at like 11 or 12, I can come back home by 10 p.m. That is how you're able to compromise. And whenever you compromise, you're able to completely and fully trust the person and you're able to believe them. But these are the five tips on how you're able to build a loving and a great relationship. Although I'm really happy that I was able to talk about this topic and I hope you guys use these tips so you're able to build a much more stronger and loving relationship. But for now, I'll say bye-bye and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye-bye!